Hey, what is going on, everybody? Um, I think this is my first time ever trying to record with a dual cam setup. Uh, so as you can see, I have the phone right here, and I'm going to be projecting into this space uh, some of the books that I just received from CBCS. Uh, but first, I wanted to share. Um, as you all know, I oftentimes have been cleaning and pressing my own books. So I have the press here. Uh, right now, there's a Marvel Boy number one that I recently found in a $2 bin. Um, so I'm pressing that right now, hoping it comes out nice. Uh, add that to the PC. As you can see, another stack of bags and boards right over here. Uh, but what I do want to do is share what I estimated would be the scores of these series of books that I have. Um, so right here, we have the CBCS predictions listed on Instagram. As you can see, it was from four years, four years, uh, four weeks ago. And I have these five books. I have What If 105, Spider-Man, uh, Mayday Parker, first appearance. I listed that at a 9.2. Then I have Stray Dogs at number one at a 9.8. Spider-Man, uh, number six, second print, I believe. Why am I forgetting the, the number of that issue? But it is the first appearance of Starling. Um, so that's there. And then I have two Turkish variants of Star Wars Age of Resistance, one for Boba Fett and the other of General Grievous. Uh, and, and these are my predictions. So I thought it'd be good to clean press, take photos before submission and make sure that I have a record of what is going on with my books, my pressing, my uh, guesstimations, if you will, um, as I'm not a professional and been doing this for about a year now. Um, but it's great to have a hobby and be able to just do this and ha see what the results are. So I'll, I'll try to go in order of the books. I did take them out the box. I do know what the scores are, uh, but I definitely wanted to share that with you all because why not share the success among the community? So let me stop this share real quick. And here we go. Uh, so the first book, as I mentioned, Mayday Parker, What If 105. Um, I actually got this book out of an auction, uh, 44 books for $75 uh, plus tax and shipping. So it ended up being a little under $100. But again, it broke down to about, I think, $2 a book, if you think about it. Uh, so I, I got the book. I clean pressed it. When I did first see it, there was some foxing on the top corner and uh, just small imperfections and why I considered it to be a 9-2. So let's check this out. So this book came in at a 9.4, uh, which I'm happy for. I uh, got a higher grade than I expected. But one of the special things is right here, you can see it has, oh, did, did we freeze? Uh, what is going on? One moment. Of course, this would happen. Oh. Technical difficulties. Let's get this out of here and come back in. Now it all makes sense. I just got a phone call, which interrupted my data stream. So sorry about that, y'all. All right, we're back. So as I mentioned, uh, nine four. the most interesting piece here is the CBCS check mark. Not sure if you all know what that means, but the graders notes uh, came in at a spine stress that I can see here uh, in wavy pages from moisture. So it might have been during the process. Um, I did the same process to all of the books and I did not receive familiar notes, but that is what's happening with that book there. And again, I think it looks real great. Uh, got the Men in Black advertisement on the background. Um, has the first appearance of an origin of Spider Girl, Mayday Parker, but also Normie Osborne becomes the Green Goblin. Um, again, great book, uh, great part of the series. I do also have a few of the other books. Um, so I'm glad to have this one in the collection. The next book in the submission was Stray Dogs. 
Let's see where that is. Here we go. So the stray dogs came back at a 9-8, uh, which I'm excited for because I wasn't really too sure what the grade would be on this because kind of like right in this space of the book, I saw an imperfection. Uh, but uh, I guess it was a bigger imperfection to me than it was to the grader. Um, but I am happy that this came back at a 9-8. I know it did have some hype, but I think from the first issue to the last issue, there was some great storytelling, the great use of a device. I'm not going to spoil anything. If you haven't read this, go to it. Um, I'm pretty sure you could get it digitally uh, if you can't find it in stores anymore, but there's a bajillion prints. Um, so the Stray Dogs one, uh, again, good looking cover. I do have the Silence of the Lambs issue sitting in my closet uh, in a long box, but I decided to just get one graded and not both. The next on the list was the Miles Morales uh, Spider-Man book. And the next three books, actually, uh, this book and the other two I purchased from CBSI Ben on Whatnot. So follow Mel Mellow Fellow on Whatnot and check that out. So this one came back at a 9-6. Again, second print of the first appearance or the re revealing of Starling. Um, the first issue has Starling like kind of on the cover. I actually like this one showing him flipping through the air in multiple ways. The reason it got the 9-6 was because of this kind of tear right here. Not sure if you can see that in the light, but there's a small spine stack bend uh, a tear there, a little nick, but other than that, great book. Um, I've been trying to collect as many of the Miles Morales Spider-Man series books as I can, so this is about the third one I have graded. Um, still building up that collection for the PC. So this will be another book that stays with me. The next book I got, uh, again, off what not great, great uh, service delivery is a Turkish book and it is Boba Fett, uh, number one from Age of Resistance, I believe. And this is actually gonna be a birthday gift for my brother, uh, Marcus Price, he's also on IG and I'll tag him in this video, but he's a big Boba fan. He has an entire sleeve tattoo of all the Star Wars films, trilogies, and so on and so forth. Uh, so I want to definitely grab this. Um, the artists and the company who did it added some really great things. They got the Disney logo, they got this hologram and the info, but the cardstock uh, is what probably made this make sure to come back at a 9-8. And I'm not sure if you could tell, but In comparison, like size-wise, these books are also a fraction of the size of an American book. So not only did it come with a nice card stock cover, it also is a bit smaller. Um, so it'll save space in some boxes, apparently. Um, so really great cover. I'm a big fan of it. Boba is one of the most legendary Star Wars characters, and I'm hoping that he enjoys this as a gift. And lastly, we have the General Grievous book that I mentioned. Um, and that's also at a 9-8. I forgot to say the Boba's at a 9-8. Uh, but yeah, I just love this cover. If you all know, this is part of a larger puzzle cover for all the villains. And this one is for me. I think General Grievous is an awesome Sith Lord. Uh, got all four of his lightsabers, the blue and the green. Um, and again, uh, a really good book. The, haven't read the series, but this is definitely a cover buy uh, that I wanted. So here it is again at a 9-8. And as I mentioned, let's go back to the grades here. So Spider-Man 105, uh, what if Spider-Man 105 came in at a 9-4 with the check. So I was a little under uh, being real cautious about the grade. And then I have Dre Dogs at a 9-8. Luckily, I overestimated on that one. Spider-Man at a 9.6, uh, and both of the Star Wars at 9.8. So I think I did pretty good. Uh, you tell me. Again, I did all the cleaning and pressing of these books myself um, for the ones that needed it. But I'm glad to see that my understanding of the work and the grading qualifications are coming up to par with that of the industry. And I am just glad to continue to build my collection. <laughs> As you can see, I like got this uh, Sandman just sitting here all nonchalantly. I got my static that you might have seen in other videos. 
Um, and I'm in the process right now of making sure I clean and press that book because I pulled it out of the poly bag. So check that video out if you can. I'll make sure to tag it. Uh, but again, as always, thank you for being here with me. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe to videos. Uh, I've been working on building the channel. I did take a six month hiatus, um, but I'm just back to being able to film because work's not as busy and I'm actually uh, in a low where I have tons of time to go to comic book stores and want to make sure to record the adventures and share. Uh, again, it was great to see the books come back. Thank you for watching and follow me on Instagram at Be Unbrokeable. Thank you for your time. I'll check y'all out later.